an incredible amount of goals so far. I think they've averaged four goals a game, Tom, in their opening five games. So Rangers need to be aware of that. And I'm sure Giovanni van Bronckhorst will have set up today aware of, of what they're capable of. But I think they haven't been tested. I don't think they've been tested this season at the back yet. And I think we're the team to go here and, uh, and do that today. Interesting. Celtic played 6-1-6, including a midweek win 4-1 against Ross County. Rangers one defeat in ten games played already this season, and that was away to Union, the qualifiers for the Champions League, and a midweek win of 3-1 against Queen of the South. So Celtic unchanged from last Sunday on league business, Rangers with two changes. The Tom Lawrence absence forced to injury Scott Wright already in his fledgling Rangers career. They're underway, courtesy of Ryan Kent. The interesting links with Malik Tillman. Is run intended. Who's the wrong option, and that is the end of the afternoon yeah. for Kyogo. Well, the game plan from Hans Postecoglou is just going south. I don't know whether it's a collarbone, perhaps. Did John Lundstrom just catch him a flailing hand, perhaps, in the second passage of this play? Yeah, I think it's his left elbow just yeah, uh, caught it, him under the oxters almost. Just must have because he's just raised a notch up two inside Celtic Park. Bit of an effort. Goal Celtic. Now, Lyle Abada on target. John McLaughlin got a hand to it. Couldn't keep it out. Eight minutes at Celtic Park. It's Celtic. You get the opener. Lyle Abada on target. Ryan Kent does really well initially, Tom, and then just overplays it. You know, it's not the game to be trying to play your way out of the back. Abada makes no mistake with the, with the finish. It's just the worst possible start yeah. for Rangers. You see Ryan Kent. He's done so well in the first yeah. instance. He just needs to launch it there. Totally. And, and then, then they take the way again, trying to turn the Rangers' rear guard. We have a push. Yakimakis on Jeffrey Abada. Beyond them goes Juranovic. Barisic with a challenge. Home fans unhappy. There's no contact there of any consequences. Kent comes back. Abada tripping over his own feet. Effective. Game continues. Referee gives the green light. Kent the step over, driving forward. And Rangers should be aware of that. John McLaughlin just catches it in the bottom of his and can't keep it out rarely to deliver the Rangers at the moment just like rabbits in headlights they need to be a bit more assertive Andy yeah that's a brilliant chance thankfully from a Rangers point of view Yakimakis doesn't get the contact he wanted on it it's a brilliant ball in from O'Reilly really difficult to defend that Tavernier quickly on the plot again great turn from Malik Tillman can he get out his feet and get his shot away he kicks Celtic on the break again through Yota. Tries to go beyond goals and fires it near post. Cleared Davis. Sorry, now he needs a good delivery. Barisic delivers it in. Cholak with the header and he just can't get it on target. Terrific build up from Rangers. Not the connection he was needing. It's superb. It's, absolute, it's what we're used to from Rangers. Borna Barisic on the overlap. Glenn Kamara perfectly weighted pass. And what a ball that is, Tom. That is such a, that's a better chance than Yakimakis had. Bada again clips one in, Tavernier with a head up, plucking his lines there, having linked with the substitute Yakimakis. Long searching ball. At the moment, it's Celtic on the back foot. Barisic to deliver again, he swirls one in. Here's Josip Juranovic to deliver. Oh, Starfelt, early chance from Cholak, it was clever, yeah. it was inventive. And he almost catches Joe Hart out. Yeah, worth a try, Antonio Cholak. Tillman sensed the danger, slowed him up. Clipped in Taylor, no takers. Goes to close him down. Still Tavernier, back for Lundstrom. Something might be on here. Lundstrom fires over the top. And then they're allowed to come forward almost at will. 2-0. Yota on target, 32 minutes played. And again, it comes from Celtic, very quick about their work from a set play. Rangers switching off, and Celtic take full advantage. Yeah, it's a 
exact same time, switching off as you say. Set piece, I think it was. See it again, but Celtic punishing Rangers. Don't think Rangers have deserved that, but you see it here. It's you know blue jerseys, backs turned, allowing that release of the pass, and then it's a very very tight line that weather. Watching the straws, it's a terrific finish nonetheless. But we've got to stop the early delivery. You take I think there's goals to be had out there. Barisic to deliver, it's a good one too. And this time Starfelt is assured we said it. Rangers get their first corner of the afternoon. Once again, brilliant delivery. Barisic delivers again. Tillman arriving late, just couldn't steer it goalward. And the last touch off the American. Celtic. Tillman a bit of a passenger to Celtic and forward again. 3-0. A double on the day for Lila Bada. Half time, still five minutes plus away. The scoreline in no way reflects the way this game has unfolded, but the bottom line is the Celtic three Rangers now. Celtic have been clinical, Tom. It's a throw in. Rangers looking around themselves again a little bit. James Tavernier very deep there, you know, he's a couple of yards deeper than his than his two centre halves. Again, it's just the luck of the ball. It's very, very fortunate to to Abada. A little nick again there. But we feel like we're just repeating ourselves. Going beyond him is Barisic. He's to check his run. Clips it in again. Tillman can't get anything on it. Cholak. Tillman. Tillman fires it in. Near post was Cholak. Itati way to the far side. Abada clips it in early. Sans has to be careful, it's back. 11 minutes later of the second half. Celtic will make that change now. A little bit loose from him. Breaks for McGregor, dancing his way forward. Lundstrom gets something on it. Yakimakis takes over. The only blue figure in the advanced area. No. Let me come back and what we've just witnessed. Here's Itati. Ahead of him is Yakimakis. Well off target. On the tattoo. Never bother. Juranovic again files it in. It's come from that just a bit more direct in their play. In the box again in search of Maria. Too hard thought of it coming out, but. The ball back in play quickly and Celtic get protection again. Scott Arfield pounces on the loose ball and he's got a very strong case here for my money. Joe Hart makes. <laughs> Top scorer in the J. For Rangers this afternoon, he's probably been the standout. 4 0. Another blunder from Rangers and David Turnbull on hand to take full advantage. Turnbull just slots it beyond the goalkeeper on his 16th appearance from the bench in his Celtic career. Only John McLaughlin knows yeah. what he's thinking there. 